Scotch eggs. Very easy. We'll get some eggs. Let's get a dozen eggs. They all look good. We'll put these in a, uh, a pan. So let's cover these with water. And then I'm going to time that for about 12 minutes. This is just uh, fresh pork, country style sausage. Two pounds. And in goes the meat. Just dry it sage. Let's make that two tablespoons. Sage always makes it taste more sausage to me for some reason. And let's peel these eggs really quickly. Okay, here we are. We've got our eggs. Good, and then the same on this. Here's my flour. I keep my flour in a massive Ziploc bag. Cut the spoon, of course. Let's get this roughly into a shape that looks like it might want to have an egg in it. And drop one in. Squeeze it round. Kind of make a little snowball kind of thing. Very quick. Very easy, a bit of practice, that was in no time at all. Come on out. Nice, go at a good speed. Raw Scotch eggs. Next step, not much to this, crack some eggs. Breadcrumbs! Alright, plenty of those in there because I've got plenty of breadcrumbs. We move all this over to our fry station. Follow me. Add my tongs in, re in reserve just in case I need them. Okay, lid off. Put that in the drain area. Everything checks out. Yeah, that's good. In that goes, in that goes, in that goes. Breadcrumbs and these surfaces here, but as long as you stay safe, that's what counts. Jog them around a bit, make sure they don't stick. Mark it in six minutes. I'm going to take this heat down to 350. These are now cool, cool enough to the touch. You see how handy they are to carry around, see? Snowballs, snowballs. Snowballs. And then you slice it in half. Voila! 